Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, I did a smaller clip on Joby, G-A-O-B-Y, a company that makes tripods for cameras and cell phones and other products that you can use to shoot uh, pictures, film, that kind of stuff. So again, reiterate, I've been using the company for six or seven months and I've been pretty pleased with the company. I originally moved to Japan and wanted something that I could use to mount my iPhone and I decided to go with Joby after doing some online product reviews, looking at prices, trying to gauge everything. And so I originally bought a Joby magnetic tripod and it was a pretty awesome thing. I went out and I shot close to 45 minutes of river footage of various angles and aspects of streams and water running. So that was pretty cool. And since then I've used it for all sorts of various things from just basic friend photos to other creative ideals and projects that I have. So there was one day that I accidentally misplaced it. I'm not so organized when it comes to <laughs> taking care of my things. So I went out and I just got uh, just a generic Joby. It's like regular, so there's no magnetic end, but it's got um, rubber on the grip. So it's pretty convenient when you're putting it on smooth surfaces. And this weekend, after giving somebody some advice to uh, have more professional shots than holding their phone out in their hand and trying to do job recruiting, I advised somebody to get uh, a Joby Mini because it's just great for the, I think the professionality and the quality that you can bring to your video creation and your content, whether you're a job recruiter or trying to do art and that kind of thing. So. Definitely very passionate about the company and the product. And then one of the final products that I got was uh, an iPhone holder. So there have been uh, a number of phone holders for uh, selfie sticks and they're kind of all over the place with what they are and they're pretty low quality and I haven't been pleased with them thus far. So the one that I'm currently using to shoot this video is made of aluminum and then plastic and the springs have started to rust out after six months so for a ten dollar purchase i'm pretty dissatisfied with it so i'm very interested to see where this is going to go so joby i mean it folds so it's really convenient it's flat and then you can pull it out so in terms of the product review very pleased with it um, but there is definitely some aspect of what I want to talk about with the consumer experience. So if you're really into products that you buy and you are really analytical about the experience that you have when you go to the store, when you're trying a new product, or when you're going back to a company that you like, I never thought about how critical you could be on packaging. So just to explain this, uh, one of the packages that I saved from Joby was the uh, mini tripod. So like the box, it, it's great. It's an, it's an aesthetic box. It's got some pretty good feel to it. But when I opened it up, uh, there was some tearing that happened. And that really was a red flag to me for the quality of boxing. Um, if, if, if you have a, a lid that you have to pull out and do like a tertiary pull out, and then you have to pull this out, and then you have to pull everything out, when you're a consumer and you're getting that, it's not really pleasing because I was pretty frustrated just on the in case that what if I wanted to return my product? The store owners probably would be a little angry even if there is a warranty and that kind of stuff. So it's something that they have to ship back and it's just overall, it's not really a win for Joby. It's not really a win for the uh, large sale producer and it's not it's definitely not a satisfying experience as a customer. So if Joby watches this, or if anybody starts to think about packaging, consider those things. Uh, in terms of their box for the smaller like holder, uh, it's a pretty stable box and it's straightforward. It, it's just old. It's like a box of Crayola crayons. It's indestructible. Uh, an infant could use crayons for months and open it up and chew on them and everything and the box would still be intact. So that experience just told me that there were some of their products that they take very seriously and the packaging experience is definitely much better on the consumer side. So just think about those things and 
For anybody who is using various tripods, I would be very interested to see what kind of brands you're using, what companies you've decided to go with, what models you've decided to go with, and uh, talk about your package experience, talk about what you've done, and if your needs for what you've envisioned the use of your phone or your small digital camera to be you know, have, have those needs been net, met and would you be willing to support a company without any uh, sales advertising or any sponsorship of any kind? So I hope that gives you some further background and some experience. I am definitely passionate about some of the products that I have. So if you guys want to see more videos like this, I would appreciate a like and just a comment. Hey, this is great. So please check it out. It should be on my YouTube channel. It's probably going to show up on my Facebook channel. I'll throw it over on the Patreon. So all right, everybody. Bye.